Hey guys, Matt with CJ Offroad here. Now in front of me on the table, I've got Roush Performance's Roush Grill fitting a 2015 to 2017 Ford F-150. Now this Roush Performance grill is found equipped on all Roush Performance F-150s and really gives you an aggressive stance on the front end. It features a nice satin black finish as well as the branded Roush right on the front end and the three amber marker lights right in the center. It's very Raptor-like and it increases the airflow into your engine. Now this also includes all of the necessary bracketry, wiring, and even an adapter if you do have a forward-facing camera to make sure that it works with your truck. Now this is gonna fit all 15 through 17 F-150s regardless of what engine style you have. Today we're gonna to be getting this installed on our 2017 F-150 and we've got a 5.0 in this truck, so it'll really give it a nice aggressive look. Plus you can see how much more open this is than that factory grill. So why don't we go ahead and get this started and we'll show you how to get it done. Okay guys, so we've got Brendan helping us out on this. The first thing you need to do is to actually remove this rubberized trim piece that's on the top and there are just the small push pins. What you need is a flathead screwdriver just to go in the center, pop it up and then pull the entire assembly out. Set these aside, we will be reusing them. There's a bunch all throughout the center of here. So we're just gonna go across, get all those removed so we can get this middle piece out of the way. The next step is going to be to remove these wings or the trim surrounds that go on the headlight and around the grill. And the only thing you need to do is first off remove that push button right into there and then also remove there are two screws right in the inner fender well and they are eight millimeters. So we'll get both of those removed and pop these out and we'll show you how to do it. We'll go ahead and get those two screws removed. Set these aside, we will be reinstalling them. And then we can go ahead and pop these out. You'll just hear a couple clips going out of their original locations. Be careful that you don't pull too hard because they aren't very strong pieces. Just do it nice and simple and pull them right out like so. The next step in removing the entire grill assembly is to remove some of the hardware once you have that trim piece removed and also once you have those wings off. So we're gonna start at the bottom corner. There's an eight millimeter bolt that goes in here. You're gonna have two push pins that hold on this rubber piece. And then all across the top, there's going to be four total 10 millimeter screws. There's two harnesses. I'll just unclip them right now. One, two. And then also on the other side, you're gonna have the identical setup, two push pins and one eight. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all those so you can get the grill pulled out. Now we can go ahead and pick the grill up and just pull it out nice and easy. But Brendan forgot to remove two push pins. The next step in this is to actually remove the pins to get the shutter assembly off. There's also some hardware back there we need to remove, but they're just gonna be four of these larger push pins. In order to get that, you can either use a flathead screwdriver or one of these pin removal tools. Pop the center out and then just get behind there, pop the entire assembly out. Once again, keep all of these as you will be reinstalling them, but just nice and simple, go ahead and pop them out. Then we can set these aside and we're gonna turn this around and show you all the bolts you need to remove to get the shutter assembly off of your main grill assembly. So right now, what we need to do to remove the shutter assembly, you're gonna go ahead and grab a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna have Brendan point out all of the locations where you're gonna to need to remove a nut. So there's two up top, two down below here, and then there are three across there, and then there's also one eight millimeter in the center there. So we're gonna go ahead and get all those removed so we can get the shutter assembly pulled off from our original chrome. Now we can go ahead and remove the shutter assembly by pulling it straight up and we can pull this factory grill and set it to the side. So as Brendan was just mentioning to me, one of the common issues with these grills is that the plastic studge actually pop off the back of the nut and bolt that's holding this shutter assembly on. So what you need to do is grab your socket, put it on the front end, grab a pair of pliers on the back end, get it twisted off, put the plastic clip back on, and then you can put it back onto the shutter assembly. Overall, this is extremely common. So if you do have an issue where it seems like you're just spinning and the nut's not loosening, that's what you're gonna go ahead and do and fix it. So here's what these studs will look like fully seated and then you can reinstall them into the shutter assembly and we're almost ready to install that Roush grill onto our shutter assembly and get it back onto the truck. So now we're gonna reinstall the studs with those plastic pieces in. There's gonna be four, two on the outer edge. Basically these are just gonna slot into the Roush grill, give them a good push and they'll clip right into place. 
So the next step while you have it all exposed here is to install the included LED lights. And these are a really sleek light and they are very well made. Honestly, Grote makes a ton of lighting equipment for the factory Raptors and for a lot of other vehicles. But what I'm gonna do is just read them and make sure that the actual logo and the SAE signature is facing the proper way. So I'm gonna push them down like that. And then inside your hardware bag, are there's these really tiny black locking washers and that's what's gonna go onto those little studs and keep these secure into place. But they are extremely tiny, so you might miss them at first. That's how these get installed though. Basically just gonna put these on and push them right down. You can just go ahead and grab, uh, say like a flathead screwdriver just to push them down a little bit more. You're gonna do that on all three of them. The next step is to move on to your factory shutter assembly and utilize these two almost triangle shaped here and you're gonna drill two 3 8 holes, one on this side and one on that side, just right through the plastic and that'll allow the wiring to run through for that lighting that we just installed into the Roush grill. So that's where those two holes will go. You can see we got a nice 3 8 hole. The next step is to install your shutter assembly and get your wiring popped through. So as you can see, we've got all three of the wiring connectors popped right up through the hole here, ready to install the harness once we get everything bolted on and put into the truck. So guys, if you're like us, we thought that this was just for the camera bracket. It turns out this is actually the center grill support for the entire thing. So all you're gonna need to do, we actually moved on and already got the wiring through. Basically, we're just gonna lean our shutter assembly up and this is gonna just go right on there with the bosses towards the bottom of the grill. So it'll sit just like that and we use the seven millimeter included screws to go into all four of those. And then this one, this larger bolt will go right through the shutter assembly. There's a hole in there and just thread right in like so. So we're just gonna pop ours up, get this installed just like that and we can move on. The first bolt we need to install into the shutter assembly is included. It's a 10 mil, but has a larger flange and that's gonna just go right into the center into that bracket that we just installed. Luckily that is threaded for us too. It's got the nut welded onto the other side so we don't need to hold anything through there. And then we're just gonna go around and install all that exact same hardware that we pulled out. We're gonna use these with an 11 millimeter socket to go on the studs at the bottom. And then those studs that we actually fix the plastic pieces, we'll just use the nuts, all four on there, and we'll get this thing completely secure onto the shutter assembly. So we'll go ahead and get these self-starting nuts onto there. They're gonna use an 11 millimeter socket. And those won't get crazy tight. They'll just get nice and snug onto that plastic. They're a self-tapping nut, so you won't get the crazy hold, but that's why you have other hardware in other places. So we'll get those on, and then we can move on and get all four of those studs with the nuts on the back of those and get them tightened down with a 10 mil. Then we can install the four push pins back up at the top. You'll put the base in first and then push the center section down, securing it in there. And with all that being done, we're now ready to throw this grill back into the truck, finish up the wiring and complete the install. All right guys, so we do have everything prepared here for the wiring harness. Now what you'll need to do is you'll get the three that are evenly spaced out right here in the center and they're simply just going to rest like this. Now what's going to happen is these are going to plug into those connections that pop up through the grill and then we're gonna zip tie them up nice and out of the way and then the entire cover from the grill portion to our radiator surround is going to cover up all that wiring. And once we're over here, we do have our relay. We've got our positive and negative ring terminals. And then we've got our fuse tap that'll go right into our fuse box and know exactly when to turn all this on. So it's only gonna operate when the running lights are on and give it a really nice and OEM look. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and pull these up a little bit, put our entire grill assembly on, get it all wired up, show you guys how it looks. So in order to get this wired up, you're gonna to have to tap into three locations. The first one is going to be your fuse, and it's going to be a dark burgundy all the way towards the outer of the passenger fender well. And you can see Brendan is pointing it out there. It's a burgundy one, and it's a 7.5 amp fuse. That's where the fuse tap is going to be. And as you can see, also right behind it, we've mounted the relay onto a factory stud. Brendan, you can point that out. That's just utilizing a 10 millimeter there. We removed it, put the relay mounting bracket on to keep it nice in the same spot. Now with the actual power wire, we are gonna mount that onto the first stud on the power cable. And we'll show you a quick shot of what that looks like. And then the ground is going to go onto the ground onto the fender well. 
and that's a simple 10 millimeter bolt to remove and we put that there. We'll show you a final shot once everything's on and point out exactly where everything goes. So here's where the positive terminal is going to connect. It'll just go on right to the fuse box on that very first one and it's the nice large red, you can see the red heat shrink on there with the larger terminal, that's the one you'll put on that. Now we can go ahead and set the grill back on now that all the wiring's run. Once you have the grill on, we can go ahead and reinstall the push pins that we popped out earlier. As well as the lower grill bolts and the four up here. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our wiring plugged in and then we'll have our cover put back on and you won't see any of that when we'll be all done. So now the last step, once you have the Roush grill fully bolted in, obviously we did a quick lighting check to make sure all that worked. And then with these small wing pieces, you're actually gonna install this filler piece because this does stick out a little bit further. Now this includes a template for you to drill two holes in this and then use it to attach it into the back here. But since we often modify these vehicles and constantly take parts on and off, we really can't make a permanent modification to these because we will be using them again. Now, if you are gonna leave this on permanently, definitely just use the template, drill two holes, and it's as easy as that. Once you have those two drilled, or if you're not gonna use them like we do, then you're just gonna put three pieces of 3M and this back section will hook right here and we'll press firmly on it to stick it down and then we can throw this back on the truck. So here I'll go ahead and pull these pieces of 3M off. Always make sure when you're using 3M to get some alcohol to properly clean it, we put some on these wings here. And then what we're gonna do is hook this backside on like so. Get this all the way on. So we're gonna give it a nice firm press and we have the 3M up top and then over here on the sides, give it a good push downwards. That way it's on there permanently. Give it a press for about five to 10 seconds. And this isn't gonna go anywhere. So now we can go ahead, put this in the top. Like so. Get it to pop in all the way down below, right into the sides, press firmly, push button back into there, and then the two eight millimeter screws out on the fender well, that's gonna complete this one. Well guys, after a few hours, you can see we've got the Roush front grill installed on our 2017 F-150. And I gotta be honest, I'm super impressed on how this looks on the front end of this truck. I wasn't sure that the black was gonna perfectly line up with the black that this truck is already painted in, but honestly, it gives it a great contrast. It looks pretty aggressive on the front end here. I really do like the Raptor style front lights in there. I've seen a lot of the cheaper version lights and grills on these trucks, and I gotta tell you, for the money, this thing is definitely worth it. They give you a complete factory style harness that simply plugs and plays, and you don't need to modify anything with wiring to get this to work. Now it's gonna run when the engine is in the run position and your running lights are on the front of the truck. But overall, this looks extremely aggressive and I'm super happy with how it went. The only thing you have to do to get this installed is remove your factory grill, get that shutter off, install this, do a couple little bit of trimming and put the wiring in and you'll be good to go. Now for tools needed, just a basic tool set will work. You only need smaller size sockets, maybe a few pliers, but nothing really crazy to get this done. And you can get it done right in your driveway in a few hours. Now, if you wanna check out this Roush front grill for your F-150, as well as many other great Roush parts, be sure to visit cjponyparts.com.